The bees have the sugar pretty much almost gone, but they still think there's more in there. They ate a uh, five, uh, see, five pound pack of sugar in about 24 hours. To show you how I start my seeds. I like these cedar boxes my husband made. They're say, a couple inches tall. Then on the bottom there's, they we did these planks and then we left a space so it could drain. And I fill it with, um, it's like, it's a mixture that's pre-mixed for me. It's peat moss. I buy these big bags. Some grow uh, brand professional growing mix. And it works really good. I've you tried using just compost before, but I always would have a lot of problems with like dampening off and the start the little. Anyway, I had a lot of problems, so now I just use this when I want to start seeds, and it it's a it's a really good mix. And then I add um, worm castings, earthworm castings, worm poop to it to give it a little bit of fertilizer. I pour it in here once it's mixed, and I put water on it, and then I take little marker and I make a little groove and then I write what it is that I'm planting I put the date on the back a lot of times I'll write like what seed source like if it's my own seed that I'm saving I'll put it on the back that it's my seed um, I just got a little half of the seeds here and when you plant seeds um, depend you plant them how, how big the seed is determines how deep you plant it so you know, it's a bigger seed, so I try to put quite a bit of space in between because I don't like potting up. A lot of people pot up, like they put they plant a lot of seeds, and then you have to once all the seeds come up, you have to separate all the little um, you know sprouts. But that's just so much work. So I just when I plant it, I just leave you know, a couple inches or, you know, between each seed. So then, uh, you know, when they get to be a good height, I can plant it directly from in here out into the garden. So I've got watermelon, squash, I'll do some zucchini. Anyway, you can fit a lot of seeds in here. And these boxes just store really well. This is like maybe the fifth season I've used these boxes and they still look just as good. They're just cedar from our cedar sawmill. On the bottom of the boxes, they look like this. We've got these grooves. I've also used, I save, um, when I buy plants at the plant stores, I save these and I've used these too. Those work well. Anyway, that's how I start my seeds. I'm a little bit late starting them this year, but I have noticed when I start them late, they do okay because then they don't get so leggy. When I start them in January, a lot of times they'll get too leggy and too long um, by the time I can plant them out into the garden. So anyways, I'm about a month too late, but we'll see if it works. I think it'll be okay, because usually when I start in January, um, everything gets too big and leggy, and it's still cold up, and I can't transplant into the garden. So I think this year, we'll see if it works. Um, planting seeds a month later than normal. It's so funny. She's hunting for rabbits. We have a rabbit that's been eating in the garden, so she's riding around with her her toy rifle. <laughs> Looking for rabbits to shoot.